Hi, I'm Peter Kalmström of Kalmström.com Business Solutions. In this demonstration, I'll show you how to use formulas using stocks as examples. As you see, I have a bunch of stocks here that, and that were bought at a certain price and have another current value. Of course, I want to know how much I bought for, what the current value is and how, what the difference is. And of course, some totals too. So let's start with the totals. You want to summarize the number of stocks purchased. And the easiest way of doing that is simply going up here and clicking on the auto sum, which gives us a sum of all those values there. So of course now I bought 830 stocks. Bought ads, that doesn't make sense to summarize that. The current value doesn't make sense to summarize that because those are the price for one. We're going to do a sum here eventually. So let's continue with the value bought. And that can't be done with an auto sum, then we actually need to do the multiplication. The value bought, which is the bought at, multiplied by the number, right? We bought 150 stocks at 206 per stock. To make this a bit more readable, we should put it in number formats or in dollar formats here. And now I can do the same thing over and over again. But since this is now using the same relative references all the time, that is, I'm calculating the cell two steps to the left times the one three steps to the left, that means that I can fill this down and copy the formula over and over again to the same cells, and that will still work. Just to check that this formula now works, if I buy zero stock, then of course the value bought is zero. So I'm going to fill that one down too, and of course it works all the way. And then I'm going to use Control Z to undo this. Of course I have the undo button right here also. The current total value is of course the number of stocks multiplied by the current value. And again I can fill that down and now I can calculate the difference. And the difference is the current value minus the value bought. And again, I can fill that down because it's calculating, as we see, the one to the left minus the one two steps to the left. And now I can do some sums here also. And here I can actually select the whole range here that I want to summarize and the area that I want to have the sums in and click the auto sum up there. And now I get the sums. And as you, if you look at the formulas, it's, it's working on the correct numbers. So that's a rather simple example of using formulas with stocks as an example. Thank you for watching this demonstration.